Hello, everybody. It's Podcast Astro again. With It's your boy, Gloss the Wind, Gloss Matt. All, all the things you could say, one of a kind, man. Joined by my awesome co-host, Brayden TV. What's up, homies? <laughs> it's all the, it's all the wonderful things you can say. <laughs> this is part two of our anime discussion going through. If you haven't watched part one, watch part one first. And we're going to dive right in. Aiden's going to start us off with 21, and he'll do the odds, and I'll do the evens for this episode. Ooh, and then I guess we'll switch off next episode if there is one. We'll see. Yeah. After, oh wait, I was ju- I just skipped right over, it's, oh I can't even read this, it's Haikyuu, Haikyuu third season, um, ranked 21. Popularity, 114. So it's within top 500, top 1,000 even. So it's got 826,003 members. (laughs) I've never seen it. Um, I've heard good things of it, but I've never actually gotten around to seeing it. Yeah, and me, and yeah, I, I know my sister has at least watched some of it or read some of it. I haven't. I've heard good things about it, but I never really got into it. Mm-hmm. And from there, we draw, we jump into Mob Psycho One Hundred, season two. Yeah, this is it says two, but it is definitely season two. Popularity ninety six. We reached top one hundred, and remember. 954,791. So, getting up there. I've heard some good things about this. Also, a guy named Mob. I've heard good things, but I I don't think this is my kind of anime. Probably not. I could be wrong. I could be. I mean, have you watched. Are you into. Have you seen K? No. No? Uh, This is kind of like that. No. Yeah. There's gangs and stuff. There's red, blue. Um, it's a psychic ability. It's all that shit. Yeah, well, these people have actual powers and stuff. Some people have psychic abilities. One dude's on a skateboard and stuff, you know. He can use a skateboard for a weapon and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, what's this about, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it. It's second. It's second season. Oh shit! Okay. Um. Well, on to number twenty three. We have Fate Stay Night, the movie Heaven's Feel. So, this is completely different than any of the other Fate series. This is this is Heaven's Feel. This has nothing to do with everybody else. Well, this. So this has absolutely this, nothing to even this, do with Fate Stay Night. This has this has something to do with it. It's explaining Ilias's Ilias view. It's explaining her point of view during the holy the Holy Grail War. Oh, well. The little girl in Fate Stay Night. It's explaining her point of view I up know. until she dies. I, I watched. I watched only Fate Stay Night. I haven't is... watched like unlimited play works. I started to watch it zero. Couldn't get into it though. Fate Stay Matt, Fate Stay Night. It's called Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. No, there's one that's just Fate Stay Night though. Um, are you talking about the one that's with Shiro Emiya? Yes, yeah, the one that focuses on Shiro, not the one that focuses on uh, Rin. Yeah. That's uh, unlimited blade works. Oh, then it, I don't know. It's just I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just cute. Oh but wait, way, heavens feel one, number just... three focuses. Okay, wait. This is the oh, this is a different one. Sorry, heavens feel. Just heavens feel is um about Ilias feel. This is spring song. Which focuses on Rin Tusaka. Kosaka. 
whatever. I just say Reen. Um, the one that you saw, focus it, which is Unlimited Blade Works, focuses on Shiro Emiya, which is by far the best one. Yeah. Which is the uh, series, not the movie. Yeah, I watched the series. Yeah, Unlimited Blade Works is a series. The other ones are movies. All right. <laughs> hey, Matt, you ready for number 24? Yeah, uh, yet another Gintama. We got the Silver Soul arc, I believe. Yes, this is the the first season of the final arc <laughs> with a popularity of one thousand one hundred forty. And wow, what a what a number of members one hundred forty one thousand one hundred eleven. That's a that's a five. Okay, that's a Yatsu right there. That's a Yatsu right. <laughs> We won't get too far into this. It's good, Tom, but you've seen it all before. You've heard it all on this channel. You've seen it all. It's been a week or two. <laughs> Depends when I schedule this video. <laughs> so, yeah, are we moving on to down. number 25? Yeah. Oh. oh, it's a movie. Number 25 is... Kizumonogatari, the third. Kizumonogatari, the third. So this is a movie. Mm, the third. Uh, I don't. I've never ever heard of this. It's got so it's number four hundred forty nine. So just making it in top five hundred of popularity. It's got three hundred thirty seven thousand nine hundred seventy three members. So just making it in top, you know, in top 500,000 members, you know, just barely, you know, mm -hmm. under it. Uh, I guess I'll read it, because, I mean, it's a movie, right? Yeah, you, you read the movies. I'll uh, so like, and uh, you'll read the movies. Uh, no, we shouldn't read this, because it spoils something. Can't read it, guys. I'm sorry. It spoils something. Uh, I, I guess it does spoil something. I, I don't know. The Monogatari series is its own thing. But moving on to Senta Chihiro no Kamikakushi. Figured it away. I, I said this was going to be there. <laughs> yeah. This, this is one of the stable. Yeah, rank 26, popularity number 40. Yeah. With the one million three hundred sixty-three thousand one hundred seventy-six members, not shocking. This is probably one of, when you think anime movies. This is probably one that comes to mind. Definitely, an absolute classic Definitely. from two thousand one. Stubborn, spoiled, the naive ten-year-old Chihiro Ogino is less than pleased when she and her parents discover an abandoned amusement park on the way to their new house. Cautiously venturing inside, she realizes that there is more to this place than meets the eye. As strange things began to happen once dusk falls. Ghostly apparitions and food that turn her parents into pigs are just the start. Shihiro is, has unwittingly crossed over into the spirit world. Now trapped, she must summon the courage to live and work amongst spirits with the help of the enigmatic Haku and the cast of unique characters he meets along the way. Yeah, I'm, I bookmarked Even that. Even in the tree. Was, oh, you're still going. Yeah, it's very the way it tells the story of Chihiro's journey through an unfamiliar world that she strives to save her parents and return home. Yeah, it's a classic. That's really all you need to say about it. Yeah, that sounds really good. The highest grossing film in Japanese out. history. Don't like, that's impressive. That is absolutely impressive. 30.4 billion yen. Jesus Christ. The fact that it made top 30s. The volumes of Gintama. Most of Gintama beats it. <laughs> but speaking of Gintama. We have Gintama the final for rank number 27. <laughs> Popularity 2,596. It is terrible, apparently. It only has 41,604 members. 
And it just says new Gintama movie. Oh, this was aired in 2021. I, I can understand how many people have watched this. So it's new, yeah, guys? January, yeah, it was January 8th. Yeah, it's, it's a new movie. If you're a fan of Gintama, uh, let's be honest, many people are. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Matt, what do we have right, for number on. 28? We have, at number 28, we got Jujutsu Kaisen, which I've heard a lot of good things about, but I never actually re- I never actually watched it. It is, it does have an interesting premise, though. Idly indulging in baseless paranormal activities with their cult club, high schooler Yuji Itadori 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 uh, Japanese Spends his days at either the club room or the hospital, where he visits his bedridden grandfather. However, this leisurely lifestyle soon takes a turn for the strange, where he unknowingly encounters a cursed item. Triggering a chain of supernatural occurrences, Yuji finds himself suddenly thrust into the world of curses. Dreadful beings formed from human malice and negativity. After swallowing the said item, revealed to be a finger belonging to the demon Sukuna Ryomen. The King of Curses. Yuji okay. yeah. experiences firsthand the threat of these curses posed to society as he discovers his own newfound powers. Introduced to the Tokyo Metropolitan Jujutsu Technical High School, he begins to walk down a path from which he cannot return. The path of a Jujutsu sorcerer. Yeah, I'm definitely... over a million members of, and within top 100. For those of you who know... know. I am, I'm, I'm really into paranormal, so, like, this is, I like, the fact that they made a paranormal anime, too, love it. Oh, I'm sure they made several, but. Well, yeah, like, uh, uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? There's one that I've, I can't remember the name. Damn it. That's too bad. Let's move on number 29, then. Um, I can't read it because it's a movie continuing off of something, but it's Demon Slayer. No, it, it's, it is, yeah, it, it is continuing on, but it, it's, it's a standalone thing. Uh, you you it, can't read it. All right. Well, it's Demon Slayer Kometsu no Yab, Yaba, the movie Mug and Terrain. Mug and Train. Whatever. Whatever! <laughs> it's number 29 it's uh popularity is 242 number 242 so uh top 500 still which is pretty good you know considering how many fucking animes yeah. there are uh members 564,122 so making it in the hundred thousands n- not quite millions but still over 500,000 which you know Considered considerably is probably good, you know. Considering how many animes there yeah. are. So? Yeah. After a string of mysterious disappearances begin to plague a, a train, the Demon Slayer Court multiply multiple attempts to remain the, to remedy the problem remedy. from fruitless. Prove fruitless. I'm terrible at reading. To prevent further casualties, the Flame Pillar, Kaiujuru, Rengoku, Rengoku, takes it upon himself to eliminate the threat. Accompanying him are some of the court's most promising new blood, Tanjiro Kamado, Zen... Is that I there? Zenitsu, You're so quiet. Agatsuma, and Inosuku... Enisuk... Hashibura, who all hope to witness the fiery feats of this model demon slayer firsthand. Unbeknownst to them, the okay. de- demonic forces respon- responsible for the disappearances have already put their sinister plan in motion. Under this demonic presence, the group must muster... What? Every ounce of their willpower and draw their swords to save all 
200 passengers on board. Kimetsu no Yaiba movie Muggin Rasahen delves into the deepest corners of Tenjiru's mind, putting the putting his resolve and commitment to duty to the test. Mugen Reshahen. But okay. Shut up! Yeah, it's Deep Slayer, though. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to spoil what happens in it. That's Demon oh, Slayer, that's everybody. Right, moving on, we got yet another Monogatari season. Second season. <laughs> But it's ranked number 30, popular 245. That's similar to the last one. And 539,041 people. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's Monogatari. I, I don't know how many Monogatari's there are. At least four. But, yeah. I could say I've never seen it, so. I've never seen any of these. <laughs> well, next... Ranked number 31, we have Monster, popularity number 159, so makes it in top 500. Members, 682,409, so just over 500,000 people. Just over 600,000 people. Dr. Kenzu Tenma, an elite neurologist recently engaged to his hospi- hospital director's daughter, is well on his way to ascending the hospital hierarchy. This is... Hierarchy. Uh, whatever. It's stuff. It's things. Words can be stuff, and my words are stuff. A seemingly small event changes Dr. Tenma's life forever while preparing the... To perform surgery on someone, he gets a call from the hospital doctor telling him to switch patients and instead perform life-saving brain surgery on a famous performer. His fellow doctor's fiance and the hospital director applaud his accomplishment. But because of the switch, a poor immigrant worker is dead, causing Dr. Tenma to have a crisis of con- conscience. So when a similar situation arises, Dr. Tenma stands his ground and chooses to perform surgery on the young boy, Johan Liber, instead of the town's mayor. Unfortunately, the choice leads to serious ramifications for Dr. Tenma, losing his social standing being one of them. However, with the mysterious death of the director and two other doctors, Dr. Tenma's position is restored, with no evidence to convict him. He's released and goes on to attain the position of hospital director. Nine years later, when Dr. Tenma saves the life of a criminal, his past comes back to haunt him once again. He becomes he comes face to face with the monster he operated on. He must now embark on a quest of pursuit to make amends of the havoc spread by the one he saved. Doesn't that just spoil who the villain is? I guess so. (laughs) Well, we just told you what the movie is, guys. There you go. Alright. It's an interesting... It's an interesting... It sounds okay. I don't know if it's for me, but... It sounds okay. I mean, it just sounds basically like he saves a guy... Or he saved a boy... Who ended up growing up to be a murderer... And he saved a a criminal... Who just continued to be a criminal... Yeah. So, I mean... Oh, the butterfly effect. That's hard. Jesus. Yeah. (laughs) I wonder, if I save this criminal, will he be a good person, or will he just continue to fuck everybody over? (laughs) Okay. Uh, Uh, Up next, we got Cowboy Bebop. Ranked in the top 50, and over 1.3 million members. That's fucking Wow, this is expensive. In the year 2071, humanity has colonized several of the planets and moons of the solar system, leaving the now uninhabitable surface of planet Earth behind. The Inner Solar System Police attempts to keep peace in the galaxy, aided in part by outlaw body hunters, referred to as cowboys. The ragtag team aboard the spaceship Bebop are two such individuals. 
mellow and carefree Spike Spiegel is balanced by his boisterous, pragmatic partner Jet Black as the pair makes a living chasing bounties and collecting rewards. Thrown off course by the addition of new members that they made in their travels, Ein, a genetically engineered, highly intelligent Welsh Corgi, Ben Fatal, Faye Valentine, a lethal woman, in case you didn't know that, <laughs> an enigmatic trickster with memory loss, and a strange computer whiz kid, Edward Wong. The crew embarks on a thrilling adventures that unravel each member's dark and mysterious past little by little. Well balanced with high density action and lighthearted comedy, Cowboy Bebop is a space western classic, an homage to the smooth and impro- improvised music it is named after. Yeah, I'm, Cowboy Bebop has a very iconic theme song. I'm gonna be honest. It could be I'm named after. It could Bob. have a better name for the anime that it is. You know, for like what it's I mean, about. It makes sense for what it is. Yeah. It's a ragtag. It's a bunch of ship named the Bebop. Yeah, yeah. But why would you just call them cowboys? There's difference to cowboys. Anyways, yeah, it does sound so, interesting, and I would definitely check that out. I think it lives up to its standard of being, you know, within the top 50. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to take a, wait, uh, a quick break, and then we'll be right back. We're only going to pause it. All right, guys, we're back here. Uh, so let's move on to number 33. That way, Matt can get to number 36. <laughs> number 33, Descending Stories. Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju. That was a riddle. Um, rank number 33, Popularity 1082. So just cutting it over 1000, not making it. It's at, it has 149,152 members. Um, I, I don't know if this is in a series or not. Oh, Uh, this covers 6 through 10, so can't do that. Yeah, 6 through 10, so that's probably like second season or something like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, I've never even heard of it. Same. So, it's lost on me. It's over 1,000, though. Uh, it's, I mean, if you guys are want to watch it, hopefully we hit first season in this episode and we can read it to you guys. Yeah. Now we'll move on to 34. Little Mushishi Zoku Show, not second season. <laughs> yeah, right here, but popularity is 759. Pretty unpopular. Well, I'm not going to say it's unpopular, but with 210,000 members, it's not very well watched. <laughs> not very well watched, but just cutting it under the Yeah, I, I, know, I, I don't even think... If we reach first season, which, looking at it, we probably won't. Or we could, I don't know. I'll bo- read it then. Well, let's hope we do, guys. Let's hope we reach the first season for all of these things. That way you guys can learn and maybe watch and, you know, get some entertainment. And, I don't know, just listen to our podcast. Uh, (laughs) The next one we have, rank number 35, is Fighting Spirit. Popularity number 355, so... It's ranked number 355, met with members of 411,088 people. So, I mean, it's not well-watched, but it's it's more watched than the other one. Yeah. Maku Nochi Ipo has been bullied his entire life, constantly running errands and being beat up by his classmates. Ipo has always dreamed of changing himself, but never has the passion to act upon it. One day, in the midst of yet another bullying, Ipo is saved by Takamura Mamoru, who appears to be a boxer. 
Ipo faints from his injuries and is brought to the Kamogawa boxing gym to recover. As he regains consciousness, he is awed and amazed at his new surroundings in the gym, though lacks confidence to attempt anything. Takamura places a photo of Ipo's classmate on a punching bag and forces him to punch it. It only then that it is only then that Ipo feels something stir inside him and eventually asks Takamura to train him in boxing. Thinking that Ipo does not have what it takes, Takamura gives him a task deemed impossible and gives him one, a one-week time limit. With a sudden desire to get stronger for himself and his hard-working mother, Ipo trains relentlessly to accomplish the task within the time limit. Thus, Ipo's journey to the top of the boxing world begins. Every time I, when I, the first time I ever saw this, I immediately, I immediately thought Punch Out. Just watch Rocky. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> but that's how it's been. Uh, I'm sure it's interesting, but as an anime, I don't know how I feel about boxing. There's better sports out there for animes. Clearly, Haikyuu is one of them. One of my favorites being The Prince of Tennis, but if that shows up, then I'll go detail on that one. Then I'll go detail on that one. For now, we've got number 36, Made in Abyss. I recommend this. I, I love this when I first too. saw it. Love it. <laughs> it's fun. It's, it's a it. good series. Rank 36. It. Popularity just cut in the top 100. I'm glad for that. <laughs> With just shy of a million members. Just shy, a, so you know it's a good watch. You know it's a good watch. It is a good watch. The Abyss, a gaping chasm stretching down into the depths of the earth, filled with mysterious creatures and relics from a long time past. A time long past. How did this come to be? What lies at the bottom? Countless brave individuals, known as divers, have sought to solve these mysteries of the abyss, fearlessly descending into its darkest realm. The best and bravest of the divers, the White Whistles, Racist. are hailed as legends by those who remain on the surface. Rico, daughter of the missing White Whistle, White Whistle lies of the Annihilator, aspires to become like her mother and explore the furthest reaches of the abyss. However, just a novice red whistle herself, she is only permitted to roam its most upper layer. Even so, Rico has a chance encounter with a mysterious robot with the appearance of an ordinary young boy. She comes to name him Reg, and he has no recollection of the events preceding his discovery. Certain that the technology to create Reg must come from deep within the abyss, the two decide to venture forth into the chasm to recover his memories to see the bottom with the great pit with their own eyes. However, they know not of the harsh reality that is the true existence of the abyss. Highly recommended. Yeah, there, there really isn't that much more to say. Highly, Highly recommended. recommended. <laughs> Just There's a lot of movies as well. Which is number 37, Made in Abyss Movie 3. <laughs> Fukaki Tamashi no Reimei. Remy. Remy. Remy? Uh, I don't... Should I read it? I mean, it's... They're, I, they're all... Uh, I mean, they. I maybe not. I don't know. It, 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 I, I wouldn't I'll go just with read this the one. first. I'll read the first sentence, and it's just continuing the perilous descent down the abyss. That's all. That's all I'm reading. Yeah. That's all I'm reading, guys. Yes. If you want to know more, yeah. check it out. Well, you watch the other watch the movies in order. Watch the series and watch the movies yes. in order. Yes. Do it. They are they are now. Order for a reason. Yeah, watch it now. Very recommended. Now. While you're watching this podcast, watch it. <laughs> and speak of the devil, we have reached Mushishi Zoku Show. Next past I've never heard of this yes, one. Yeah. Uh, its popularity is 661 and just shy of 250,000 members. It's 
it's an anime that's dead. Yeah, yeah. Perceived as strange and feared by man, over time the misshapen one comes to be one's come to be known as Mushi. Real <laughs> fucking subtle. <laughs> Although they harbor no intel, no, no ill intentions towards humans, many suffer from the side effects of their existence and strange nature, exploiting the Mushi without understanding it even unintentionally, can lead to disorder and strife for any involved. Mushi continues the story. Mushishi Zoku Show continues the story of Mushishi Ginko and his journey to help the physical world to, to coexist with the Mushi. During his travels, Ginko discovers various gifted individuals those cursed by circumstance and those maintaining a fragile symbiosis with the Mushi, inevitably confronting the question of whether humanity, talented and tortured alike, can manage the responsibility of the unseen. Moreover, as a Mushishi, Gingo must learn more about these strange beings and decide if he has the right to interfere with the complex relationship between Mushi and mankind. I can't. I if you're can't. into this stuff... Maybe it's a good watch. I myself, <laughs> I can't. Not. I can't. I'm sorry, guys, but if I agree, Matt, if you're into that stuff, go check it out. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh, we have number thirty nine, Samurai X: Trust and Betrayal. Its uh, popularity is six seventy eight. Uh, and just shy of 250,000, like, that mushy piece of shit. Um, when mankind's savagery surpasses his fear of death, there is little hope for those who wish to live honest lives. Beneath a full moon, a, bo a young boy witnesses the murder of the bandits who had enslaved him, and is then christened and with a new name by the man who rescued him. This boy is Shinta, now known as Kenshin Himura, and he is destined to become a swordsman. The softest of his heart does not be befit, befit the occupation, but his desire to protect the innocent is absolute. Ruroni Kenshin Meji Kenkaku Romatan Tsuku Hen details the origins Tsuyoku. of the man. Tsuyoku Hen. Okay, so I almost got that. The, details, details the, the origins. origins of the man who would bear the name of Hitor Hit Hitakuri Bat 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 say long before he swore his oath not to not to kill, and before he earned his reputation as an assassin. The young man's heart is divided between justice and corruption, while the fate of a nation rests on his actions. I'm sorry, guys. I'm terrible. So, yeah, I battered another one that. Of samurai things. This one's super old, old as well. Much like Inuyasha, if that comes up. Yeah, 1999. If you're into samurai stuff, and some aren't bad, some are. Uh, you should. To give it a watch. Anyways, moving on to the final entry of this episode, Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso, or Your Lie in April. Okay. Uh, the popularity was in the top 25 at 1.6 million members. Well deserved. I have watched this anime before. I don't think it's the best anime, and I don't think it's my favorite music anime, but I, yeah, I do like the anime. I the twist at the ending, though. have never heard of this. Uh, the, the ending, this is infamous. This is another infamously sad one, and this one's probably more, more infamously sad. Or -er. like, if you look up sad, sad animes, this will come up as like the top one of the top five or something. Here, what's uh, that? Anyway, sad the anime. Music accompanies the path of the human metronome, the prodig the prodigious pianist Kosei Arima. But after the passing of his mother, Saki Arima, Kosei falls into a downward spiral, rendering him unable to, unable to hear the sound of his own piano. Two years later, Kosei still avoids the piano 
and leaving behind his admirers and rivals, and lives a colorless life alongside his friends Tsubaki Sawabe and Ryota Watari. However, everything changes when he meets a beautiful violinist, Kaori Miyazono, who stirs up his world and sets him on a journey to fix music again. Based on the manga series of the same name, Shigatsu Wakimi no Uso approaches the story of Kosei's recovery as he discovers that music is more than playing each note perfectly, and a single melody can bring the fresh spirit to spring air of April. <laughs> this was a sad, sad anime. So if you guys are into that... I liked it. I liked it for watching it once, but like repeatedly watching it, it was... It is not optimal. I, it does, I guess if it you're going if, to be up here. if you're going through a breakup, then repeatedly watching is optimal. Don't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I won't spoil anything for it. If it's another one of those, you, you, if I say it's a sad anime, then it's pretty much. Why it's pretty much there's only one reason an anime is truly sad. Well, there are a couple of reasons, but one of them is very obvious death of a character, wink, 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 wink. <laughs> death of a character. <laughs> I'm not saying who, I won't say who dies, I won't say if anyone dies, but death is a very tragic part of an anime. Well. But that's, there you guys yeah, have it. If you want to watch any of these or see any of these, they're on mylist.net top anime.php or check out Netflix or Funimation or something. Maybe they'll be on there too. Uh, we'll talk to you in the next podcast. Peace out. Peace. Probably.